Welcome back to Out of the Rough, the Association of Women Entrepreneurs Edition. I'm Tara McHugh with Fred Arnolds, and we have our last and final fabulous guest for today. It's Jane Betancourt Soto, who I'm so happy to see. Uh, we were, she's actually uh, the executive director, was the executive director of the Betty Ferguson Foundation. That's how we met. Mm -hmm. She's now retired from there. And she is a board member of the Child and Family Center Foundation. What right. a wonderful organization. Yes. So for those that don't know, can you tell us what does the Child and Family Center Sure. The Child do? and Family Center um, provides mental health services and behavioral health services for children, families, and adults here in Santa Clarita. Um, some of our clients include uh, four, four year olds that are in preschool on the campus that have behavioral health problems and they get them ready for kindergarten. Oh, wow. um, that's just one program that we offer. We served over 10,000 people last fiscal year in Santa Clarita alone. Wow. So, you know, I want to drill down. Yes. Who, who specifically do you serve so that if you know, I'm a parent right. or, and I need some services, what, what services do you provide specifically and what's your typical client or customer? Right. We have um, school-based programs. We have court referrals. And we have uh, Medi-Cal patients, if you will. Um, with the new health care reform coming around, we're going to be able to, we're looking to fill in the gap the upper middle class here in Santa Clarita that can't afford to pay cash for services that may be needed for their family. Um, we're hoping to get that program started as well. What kinds of programs are, what kind of assistance? Just uh, mental health services as far as, uh, you know, the therapist one-on-one, -on -one, uh, substance abuse issues, suicidal issues, oh, okay. bullying, you name it, anything that has to do with mental health. And the stigma uh, post Sandy Hook, the mental health services have wanted to get th the awareness out there. Um, I have personally been affected by mental health um, in my family. So we don't want people to be afraid of it. We want them to, you know, acknowledge that there's a problem and, and go somewhere for help. And know that there's somewhere they could go. Yes, and, you know, and think, not be afraid. I think that's critical. One of the services I want to ask you about, since they're going to build 87 homes across the street from your location, yes. was helping our servicemen and women who are going to be living in that community deal with the issues that, that come up. Absolutely. Um, 87 blessed veterans will, will live there, and their families and themselves are going to need services. So we've partnered with Habitats for Heroes through Habitat for Humanity. And that's another exciting um, part of what we offer. Last year, we offered uh, what you call mental health first aid, which helps community members, you and I, the lay people, how to identify that there's a crisis going on. Mm -hmm. Like maybe there's someone in this studio today that's having a, a crisis, and it teaches us how to react uh -huh. before the first responders come. So oh, that, that is offered as well. You know, they often wow. say that you think you're having a hard time, someone right next to you is, mm -hmm. is having a challenging time too, which is really what you address, so fabulous. So you're a board member, yes. and so why, why are you? Well, why when I retired from Betty Ferguson Foundation, we dissolved the corporation in 2011. I said, where do I want to spend my time? I honestly believe that every moment is an opportunity to serve. So I said, what touches my heart? And mental illness, behavioral health was one of them. So I was an advisor um, on their advisory committee for five years, and it was just a natural transition for me to go onto the foundation board, the fundraising part of the organization, and, and help and, and give them what I, what I know as far as nonprofit work. And there's some fabulous board members you have, by yes. the way. Just yes. fabulous people. Yeah. And what makes a good board member? And, and if you're a parent out there think, watching this and thinking, yeah, I'd like to give back, what makes a great board member? Well, honestly, I believe, first and foremost, that the organization mission has to touch your heart. Okay? If, let's say, you have a diabetic in your family, you may want to be involved in the diabetes organization. Mm -hmm. Heart, breast cancer, whatever. So if it touches your heart, I think you need to listen. And there's people in town that, in my, in my opinion, may pad their community service resume. Mm -hmm. You don't want someone who's on 15, 20 boards. I'd rather have someone work with me that's on three or less boards so they can do one thing really good mm -hmm. 
instead of a whole bunch of things not so good. Mm -hmm. And you want someone who will come into the meeting, be engaged, and leave with the handouts. If they come in every month and they don't even take the financials home or the minutes or the agenda, are they really interested in what you're doing? Mm -hmm. And they also need to help you raise funds and get their connections. They're mostly business leaders, right? Mm -hmm. Or retired people. They need to go either give you some money or go get some mm -hmm. money for you. Perfect. The so, signature event they have? Yes, they have. Up. An yes. event every May. Taste of the Town. One of the best events yes. I've ever been to. Oh my gosh, I, I love so it. I love one. it. There's <laughs> about 2,000 people that come out at the Mann Biomedical Center, mm -hmm. the park. It's great. Awesome entertainment. Uh, it's the first Sunday every May, every year. $75 general, $100 for a reserved seat. It's a good time. And so how do people find out about the event? Um, they can go to the Child and Family Center website, or they can go to tasteofthetown.com as well. And Be best of the event of the year, I mean, by far. Oh, I yeah, agree. it's yeah. fun. And for you, I know you advise a lot of nonprofits. Yes. So how can people, if somebody's watching that has a nonprofit, right, they can they um, help? Contact me directly at jeb, as in boy, soto, at att.net. Thanks for all you do. Yeah, Thank professional you. volunteer over Yes, there. I get to run into her all the time at these Thank different events. Thank you very much. Awesome. I appreciate it. I was excited to know you were going to come on the show. Well, another great show. Thanks to uh, fabulous women entrepreneurs. And you. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Out of the Rough. If you'd like to watch this online, go to scvtv.com or fredarnold.com. Until we talk again, make it a great day.